Hi, Marco Di Stefano here and welcome to this video of the virtual orchestration series. So today I'm going to uh, walk you through my composition, which was my entry for the Albion 1 uh, competition at Spitfire Audio. Uh, if you want to listen to this composition, then you can go to my website marcodistefano.art and you will find it here like it's feature but maybe more here voila you have the one video on youtube which you can watch and you can you can also have audio your, jungle there is a free royalty free license available version um so you uh, the composition starts with piano so let's hear let's start to go deep in it so let's put it in solo what did i use for the piano here it is is the william simcock felt piano uh, very simple so you can check so at the beginning the composition starts with some piano but there is also some strings in, B in the background which is strings evolutions Voilà, for which I've been I've loaded two different uh, articulations. I think yes, two of them. This is the ones I'm using. So now, if we want to build it up, there is some woodwinds which are introducing a melody at the beginning. The, the woodwinds being here. It starts with the corn anglais. So there is there is some orchestration here with the woodwinds so maybe it's worth if we can listen to what only the woodwinds are doing here there is also piccolo here again so let's hear this part voila Contrabassoon, very, very low playing. Um, so for all these, as you have already seen, i am always been working with uh, automation for the expression, uh, the vibrato and the dynamic and then the dynamics. Yes. Um, so you can see how it uh, changes. For example, this one going down. So always ensure that wherever you end a phrase, there is some some fade out of the instruments, which is a, 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 an absolutely natural way of playing the instrument. Um, if we listen now to this part altogether, yeah, maybe let me just show you this pizzicato, what are doing there, maybe with the piano. So here, they are introducing this sort of ostinato, which then will be taken again later. Okay, so now let's hear all together the beginning. you might have heard this uh, sort of run of the woodwinds so let me show you where it is voila here it is this is albion 4 amazing library so just let's play this alone look what's going here
beautiful. Um, then in this part, actually, let, let me show you. So there is a loop. Let me start with this alone. This is from Albion 3. This loop is uh, together with the brass. Well, and it's giving the tempo. And then let's add the percussions. Let's see what percussion are doing alone. And there is also something from the uh, Hans Zimmer percussion. it so if now we merge all these percussion together with the loop and the brass what is left so of course we also add the flutes which we heard at the beginning <laughs> Then and at the end, so the only thing we are still missing so far is the piano, which I must admit at this this moment we don't hear very much. There is the strings evolution again playing, and the low cigarette. Voila, with a very nice crescendo. So now I let you listen to this part all together. Okay, and here we start with the part which is a bit more uh, symphonic orchestra. So the piano is always doing the the same. Actually, is is just a loop repeating. And here it all starts with this uh, corn anglais playing. <laughs> Again, I love woodwinds. So again, as you can see here, the woodwinds uh, are taking the melody and they are switching uh, from one instrument to the other at a certain moment. Also here you hear the flutes and clarinets, which are doubled by the oboe. I think that this one, these flutes and clarinets here, it's uh, from the Bernard Herrmann uh, toolkit, yes. Uh, so on top of these uh, woodwinds playing together, we have, of course, all the violins. So let's listen to the strings alone first, what they are doing here. So there is an ostinato, which is given to the celli and basso. a very simple cadence that is going there um, this idol. okay so what what else the, we have seen the piano we have seen the strings we have seen with the woodwinds and of course there are there is there are some horns here that plays actually when we see the horns uh, starting in the video uh, which are doing this <laughs> Voila, I love these chords. They are adding a lot of uh, beauty to the, to the piece. And 
to finish the you have actually here the strings which are going pizzicato again <laughs> Going down, slowing down. Uh, let me add this also, this one contrabassoon here. I think it's very important. Let's do like that. This one first. So let me show you the how to mention here. It's just this instrument is just beautiful. Uh, so now I think it's it's all. I would like you to make you listen to all, and then I will talk you about the the tempo and um, and the mixer. So let's start again. Okay, so when approaching the, the composition, the first things I've been working on is the tempo track. Where is it? Project tempo track. So here you can see it. Its tempo track is very dynamic. And it works in a way that it makes the, the my beats fit with the video. So here you can see that there is a huge change of tempo. I will let you listen to it. And then, voila. And then the tempo goes up. Then what is important here is that there is a ralentando. Wow. It is very very important to work on the tempo track if you want to get something which is, sounds a bit realistic. So I I've never written a composition with always the same tempo. That's really doesn't add realism. Um, another thing I want to show you to finish this video is the mix console. So here, as always, all the instruments are redirected to one audio channel. Each audio channel uh, here is uh, mixed uh, in a way which I never go up to the zero or maybe sometimes just very little. Um, in that case, I've not been used uh, any group channel. So directly, as you can see, uh, you have you have all the different uh, uh, channel, instrument channels, which go to the main output. And as you can see, uh, there is some, there is a, um, a reverb aux channel, which I have injected in all the different instruments. And as you can see also, every instrument has a different uh, level of decibel. Uh, so sometimes it's minus four, minus three or zero, depending on the instruments and depending how far I wanted him to be perceived. 
and then all these channels are mixed together inside uh, Ozone here and Ozone is where I'm doing the mastering so I'm boosting the high and in this particular case uh, as you can see there is a cut in the low because there, uh, there was really too much low I'm using too much of Sally and buses um, I'm having some uh, compression here and dynamic and maximizer at minus one decibel and again here as you can see I'm boost, boosting the the in at min plus one in order to have uh, a better dynamic range that's all for this composition uh, again if you have some question or if you want to to go deep in some part just let me know in the comments and uh, thank you very much for listening and uh, see you in the next video